best music, best clothes, best bikes. It's the best scene. I don't feel like I'm pretending to be anything. I'm a mod. For me, and a lot of my generation is still believing, still well, believing, still following mod, it's because the 80s were just a time when it, I mean, things were crap, but mods seemed to lift you out of it. You can't really define it, but you know, we all understand it, we all know what it means. It's got a good star, it's got good music. It's what I want to be. It's a bit like religion, really. Uh, it's the way you look, it's the way you walk along the road, the way you hold a bottle of beer. You know. I was born to be a mod. You can wake up feeling terrible and then put on a top Ben Sherman button down collar and some great stay press, you know, and everything looks great and it just gives you a a confidence, but the biggest thing for me is, is the uh, the attention to detail, which then spreads itself into all areas of life. Whatever it is, unless it's 100% pure, it's not right. I think it's difficult to take it as seriously because there's a lot more going on. There's lot, a lot more different sort of, it's not so much just the mods and the rockers now. There's so many different things going on, so many different youth cultures. But I think it's dangerous to take it too seriously. I think it's good to sort of retain a bit, a bit of a sense of humour about it. You can be too retrospective and you can be too stuck in the past. I just look up on them and think, well, sometimes a little bit sad the way they are trying to copy what was a good thing like many, many years ago. I don't think you can be recreated what you had in the 60s. Hey, Steph. What? You're going Brighton this weekend. Yeah, you? Of course I am. I'm a road runner, baby. one place too long. Every mod has seen Quadrophenia, so it holds a certain magic because of that. Just the riding up and going to all the, all the spots and that from the film. <laughs> Mate, shut the door next time, alright? <laughs> I just love it here, like, I love the atmosphere. The people are pretty cool around here. There's never any, any grief. It's proper. You mentioned Liverpool, they say the Beatles. You mentioned Brighton. People automatically think mud. When I first came here, it was just like so much excitement, I couldn't control myself. I was just like, this is what I have been dreaming of, and I'm here. The dream has come true. You're kind of walking in footsteps of the people you try and emulate, really. It was the scenery, it was the two piers, it was the excitement of the long roads that you could go up and down on your scooters. It wasn't any sort of one point in my life where I said, well, no way I'm going to be a mod anymore. I've always tried to sort of dress reasonably sort of smart and modern, you know, but not go out of my way to sort of, you know, keep like it was. When these things start off, of course, you've got that us against the world mentality, but that sort of attitude drops off, doesn't it? You know what I mean? But the clothes remain, and every jacket I possess has three buttons and narrow lapels. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just you find out what suits you, don't you? And then, you know, if you're smart, you stick to it. It's quite embarrassing to say, yes, I'm a mod, I follow a, a youth cult that uh, I started when I, before I had pubic hair. You know, everybody gets a label hung on them. You're either poor scum or you're whatever, you know. You can't, you can't walk the streets without having a label, so you might as well have one with a bit of pride. I'll always be a mod because I'll never be scruffy. I'll never, I'm never gonna start listening to rubbish music and wearing scruffy old jeans, so I may not be in the mod seen, but I'll always be a mod at heart. Well, I'm 28 now. Some people think it's childish bowling around on scooters and park it up and that. I don't think so. You've got to be true to yourself, haven't you, at the end of the day? I mean, it's the same in anything, isn't it? If you're not true to yourself, then who are you? <laughs>